Good morning, Rainbow Room. Hope you're having a great day. All right, let's see. I First, before we do our calendar, I love all of the pictures my friends are, t are sending us with their patterns and their X adventure baskets or boxes. Some pretty cool stuff that I even forgot had the letter X in it. So great job, friends. I see you working so hard, even though we're not in Rainbow Room, which makes me very, very happy. Okay. Let's get to our calendar. Alrighty, so <clears throat> yesterday was yesterday was Tuesday, but that's not the that's not the word for Tuesday, right? This word starts with the M O N D A Y. Monday. Monday. So we can put this one away and we'll bring up Tuesday, our green Tuesdays, and let's grab if today, if yesterday was Tuesday, that means today is Wednesday, fantastic, and if today is Wednesday, that means tomorrow will be, hmm, Saturday? No, oh, Friday, Friday, tomorrow's gonna be Friday, right? No. If today is Wednesday, tomorrow will be Thursday. Okay, friends. So, <clears throat> let's see. We know it's Wednesday. So we know it's Wednesday. I think we can guess what color this is because my friends are becoming pros at patterns over here. So I think it's gonna be red. But let's see, if yesterday was the 24th, a two and a four, so we've got 24 and a 24 has to have the numbers 2 and a 4 now does the order matter if I put the 2 before the 4 or if I put a 4 and then a 2 yeah right that's 42 so we have to make sure that our 2 is in front oh I forgot my eraser it's okay so we've got 2 and a 4 that was yesterday what do we think is gonna come next hmm I know what comes after a four is a five. So I think it might have a five. And since it's still 25 that we're looking for, it'll have a two in front of the five. 25. Okay, so we know it's gonna be red. We know it's Wednesday. We know it's a 25th. Fifth, five sound very similar. All right, 20. Five. There it is. Okay, friends. Now let's do a quick little repeat after me. Today is Wednesday, March twenty fifth of two thousand and twenty. Yes, fantastic. Okay. <clears throat> Now that we know what day it is, what month we're in, what year it is, let's do our weather. And let's erase yesterday's weather. Yesterday where I live, it rained a little bit again. It's been a pretty rainy, rainy week. All right, but right now I'm looking outside and the sky looks super blue, perfect for springtime, with a little bit of cloud and the sun is just super bright this morning. So, <clears throat> where I live, it is sunny, and there's a tiny, tiny little chance of clouds. Just a little bit, and they're pretty bright clouds. They're not dark and gloomy clouds. All right, friends. So, as I said earlier, I am so happy that my friends are doing their activities and projects at home, even though we can't be doing them at, in the Rainbow Room. I miss everybody. I know my friends miss being at school, seeing teacher Peter and I and all of your friends. We completely miss you too. But thank you for continuing and doing your activities. I have a few more activities for my friends to do today. So let's get to it. Okay, I'm going to send out to all of our rainbow families a few worksheets. One of them is going to have some lines and zigzags and curves and wavy lines and such on papers and 
they can cut out big strips of paper just like this, or it could be a long sheet of paper. But what I want my friends to do is practice how to use their scissors. Because we always practice this in Rainbow Room and I don't want my friends to forget. So, when we're in Rainbow Room or whenever you use scissors, you always make sure that the big hole, you can either fit your three fingers or four fingers, however you'd like. If it feels better with four, use four. If it feels better with three, you can use three. Scissors sometimes depend on the size. Sometimes they're really, really, really small. You can only fit three fingers. Sometimes they're pretty big, like this one's pretty big. I can fit four of my fingers in here. And then your thumb, right here, goes into the small one hole. So all, your thumb will always go into that hole and then you can decide if you want three or four fingers in the other one, okay? <clears throat> so once you have it like this, your scissors are always pointing away from your body. They never turn. These scissors should never turn when you're cutting because if they turn that way and you're holding paper, you can accidentally cut yourself. Or if you're turning and you're turning and you're making a circle and you go all the way around, the scissors are now pointed at my body and that could hurt. So always have your scissors pointed away. So today's activity, we're gonna practice how to cut some lines, but not just regular straight lines, because I know my friends, this is pretty easy peasy lemon squeezy for you. If we just do cut across the straight line, right? Pretty easy stuff, right? Scissor always points away from your body. But to do zigzag lines, am I going to go like this? and turn my scissors. No, that is very scary because look, I could cut my finger on the other side and I don't even see it because I can't see it because the paper is blocking me. But if I put my scissors this way and we flip it over, I could cut my finger on the other side. So you always want to make sure you can grab your paper and your paper, you can always move your paper around, always. And you don't have to grab your paper from only one spot and you have to hold it there the whole time. No, no, no. You can grab your paper from over here, you can grab your paper from here, you can turn your paper however you'd like. So, you're gonna get your scissors and you're gonna turn your paper. Now look, if I turn my paper, is my finger gonna get cut? Nope. So you're gonna turn your paper and then cut. Because your scissors just have to make sure they're pointed away from your body, right? Yeah, well right now, because I'm sitting a little lopsided, but. So if we do it like this, <clears throat> am I gonna turn my scissors like this to cut this line? No. So I'm gonna keep it here. My scissors are always gonna be straight away from my body. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn my paper and then turn my paper again and then turn it again. And it's always the paper that turns, not your scissors. My scissors have stayed straight the whole time. Even with curvy lines, like we're gonna do right here, your scissor can curve and turn as you cut your, your paper, not your scissor. Your scissor must stay straight the whole time. So it's a little tricky, but I want my friends to try it today. And once you've cut your paper, you can send us a picture that you've cut all your paper or you can send us a video of you practicing with your scissors. It can get a little tricky, a little frustrating, but the more we practice, the better we get at it, the easier it gets for us. Practice, practice, practice. <clears throat> so that's our first activity I want us to do today. Now our second activity is gonna be some yarning or stringing or, you know, kneading, I don't know. but. I have yarn, but you can use a shoelace um, strap here. Let me has a shoe here. You see how your shoelaces have shoelaces have um, this little anglet at the beginning. This is called an anglet, the little thing at the front. But <clears throat> if your mom or dad or whomever is with you at home says it's okay for you to use a shoelace, you can go ahead and use a shoelace to do this. Okay. If not. You can grab some string, some yarn, anything you've got that kind of looks like a string. I've got yarn. And in order to make a little anglet like our shoelaces do have, I just use a little piece of tape, just a tiny little piece of tape and rolled it up there. You can always ask one of your family members to help you with making one of these little guys on the top. And then I'm gonna have to ask you to ask your families 
to give you some pasta. I'm using this straight long penne pasta. You can use different pasta. You can use elbow pasta. You can use, um, what other pasta has a hole in it? Oh, you can use rigatoni pasta. I know some of my friends love to bring rigatoni for lunch. So <clears throat> the only thing is that your pasta has, you have to make sure it's got a hole right in the middle because what I want my friends to do is grab your yarn string or shoelace and push it through the hole, just like that, and then pull it out the other side, okay? And you can add as many or as little as you'd like. And I want my friends to practice this, okay? And then if you have some glue at home, I would like for you to get a piece of paper. We're gonna pretend my whiteboard is a piece of paper. And then once you're done making your beautiful pattern or design, however you'd like. You can glue it onto your paper, either in a zigzag way, like you can make a really cool wave. I don't know if my friends can see it, it's a little tricky. Or you can do a straight line or you can do it across, however you wanna glue it. Just make sure you, you glue down how you want it to be. If you want a zigzag, you're gonna glue a zigzag line we're going to pretend this green marker is my glue. You're going to glue down a zigzag line, and then you're going to grab your yarn string. <clears throat> you can even use floss. And you're going to put it down onto your line, and you're going to glue it on there. And then I want to see your awesome pasta projects today. Okay, so that's activity number two. Now, activity number three is I know my friends did their x adventure boxes yesterday if you did not get to do it that's okay no worries you can do it today but for activity number three i would like for you to draw one of those x um, items that you put inside your box i know i had a friend who did a candle wax which is really cool very unique so you can draw your candle you can give it a little a little stem you fill it up however you'd like I would like for you to draw your candle your item that you picked I know some friends found a fox other friends found axes other friends uh, did the xylophone x-ray t-shirts very cool you get to pick whichever one you want to draw and then I'd like for you to draw it and then you can ask one of your your family members whoever's at home with you to help you how do you spell that word? First, you can always try it, right? Because my friends are pretty great at their letter sounds. So, <clears throat> candle, wax. We want to figure out the word wax. What we know is with the W. And then you can always ask your families to help you because we have W, A, like Annie, Apple, A. We have the W, A, and the X sound from X. So we've got W, A and you can write wax right underneath what your item is, okay? So, let's review really quick what my three activities for friends are today. First, we're gonna have some cutting practice. Awesome, I can't wait to see if my friends have been practicing their cutting. Two, we've got our noodle pasta string activity. This is gonna help us learn for those friends who really excited to tie things. This is a great way to practice. <clears throat> and then we're gonna have our drawing activity, which is one of my favorites because I love to see all of your drawings. They are always so unique, so creative, so beautiful. So make sure you draw your, your X item and then try to write out the word underneath it or on the side of it or wherever it fits on the paper. Okay, friends? So happy Wednesday and see you tomorrow my friends. Oh, actually I'll see you in just a little bit for our morning zoom, but happy Wednesday